Hello, everybody. Welcome. Oh, I just Good to I see you. I hadn't unmuted myself then. Oh, that's embarrassing. It is, isn't it? Well, Hello, everybody. How's it going? It's Nat, everybody. It's me and Nat. So you're going to be teaching me to fish, aren't you? I'm going to be teaching you to fish today. That is 100% correct. Oh, so... In an awkward place. Should I move them? I think it's fine. They're, yeah. they're fine. So for those who don't know, Natalie is the equivalent of me, but works in the trains team. So deals with a lot of trains and World 2 stuff. And it, well, you've known me already, but I'm Benjamin. I do fishing. Um, if you weren't there for the last stream we just did on the trains channels, Nat and Chat, Nat and Chat, <laughs> Nat and chat. were <laughs> Nat and Chat were teaching me how to drive trains. And in this stream, we're going to teach Nat how to catch fish. So yes. to start with, we're going to load into a venue, starting probably with Lake Hartwell. We'll cruise around, um, get Nat catching some fish, hopefully. And then we'll load into a uh, public freedom fishing server. And we'll get you guys to come meet us. Um, and we can show Nat around and we'll catch some more fish, hopefully. And you can show her some of the hot spots. Yeah. So um, how are you feeling, Nat? Are you feeling confident? Uh, no. I mean, I hope, I really hope that you teach, um, I hope that you teach fish better than I teach strange. Just check in, um, people are struggling to hear me. I mean, we're having a dreadful time with audio tonight. So can, yeah, you just do... make sure, can everybody hear me okay? How are we doing? How's that? It's probably because we've changed the, um, I'm hosting now, so. Yeah, it was, it's been, a, it's been a weird setup today. It has been a bit of a weird setup, but yeah, um. The, the trains teaching was utter chaos and we absolutely relied on the trains chat who, who helped us quite a lot, didn't they? Um, yeah, it was excellent. I felt like it was chaos, but then we quickly got up to speed and they really helped me out in the end. So did. it was, um, they did. it was really good. So Nat, let's go to Bassmaster Venues and load into Lake Hartwell and we'll start from the beginning and I'll try and try and teach you how to do this. I'm still glad. Can you turn up your mic a little bit more if you can? Yeah, it's currently on my What about your what about your mic gain? Can you do anything with that? Access the venue. I'm still quiet. Oh yeah, and actually just to cover off some actual news today, um, we have indeed announced our Bass Lake bundle of Lake Seminole and Lake Jordan that will be coming out very soon. Um, if you haven't seen it already, then there's um, an article on our website, bassmastergame.com. Right, sure so. Just mess around with my settings. Hold on a moment. That's okay. So you you should be familiar with WASD. That is the way you drive the boat as a starting point. Okay. Right, let's go with that. Let's just. I'm not sure why it's so quiet. Oh. What the game? No, my microphone. There's no reason for it to be so quiet, so just have to. I'll have that to is... speak louder. Just project. Okay. We've said it already. Yeah, we're gonna have to project. Okay. All right, so it's about. I think it's about a five second delay. So, okay. um, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna get you. Yeah, come out of here and go left. I'm gonna guide you to a spot where I know. So you see that in the distance there, when you get point the boat to the left, there's an island right in the distance. Yeah, yeah, you want to head all the way over there, and then you'll see some, like, a rope with lots of bu buoys. Um, we want to head to that direction, just keep cruising out that way. Just hold it down and you will speed up. Yes, yeah, so you've got one of the, the starter boats, so you are... Oh, no, actually, you're just, you're just straight up cruising at 75 miles an hour. There you go. Taking some scenery. You're cruising, cruising that's got mine right yeah, now as well. Oh, he's having a great time. What, what, what a day! I'm excited. This is going to be, this is going to be fun. I want to catch a big we'll see. It's possible. All right, so we're good. We're coming up to the island. We can keep flooring it for the moment. We want to be. You want to be on like the left-hand side of this island. Um, I think it's a pretty good spot. So. Yeah, yeah. Start slowing down. Actually, just take it off and you'll still come to a stop. Um, yeah, this is good. This is good. All right. So let's, let's acquaint ourselves with what we're seeing on screen, right? 
So obviously the, on the top left you've got your, you can see where you are on the map and then on the left you can see that there's a, a, like a gradient map so you can see that there's lots of fish swimming yeah. across. You see? Yeah. So what, what's happening there is um, there's essentially a directional cone going out the bottom of your boat going straight down that's looking um, or detecting fish. So every time you see, and there's different sizes of fish, right? So they're all quite small right now, but it doesn't mean that there aren't bigger ones nearby. And every time you see a fish pop up on that screen coming in from the right-hand side and moving left, right? That is essentially the, the moment that boat has crossed your path. Oh, so, okay. and then as, it, as, it, as it's ticking by, that's time since the, the fish swam under your boat. So one of the things that we see is quite a common mistake is you're driving flat out at 75 miles an hour and you see, oh, there's loads of fish here. And then you like stop the boat and start casting, but without realizing that you've just probably gone like 500 meters past that spot where those fish were, because oh, you've been you've been, you've been yeah, moving, yeah. right? So that's the the fish finder. So you can see there seems like there's quite a lot going on under the boat right now, right? So we're gonna hit Q to stand up. And then there's a five second delay oh, there. My is like why it's boring. I, I know. Well, maybe we'll look at the shop if you catch some fish to buy some more things. So there's um, a few different things you can see here on the screen, right? So um, Q gets you back into the boat to start driving again. Yep. I is essentially your inventory. So if you want to make changes to your loadout, stuff like that, you can do that. Mm -hmm. And then tab, you can switch Sorry. between different rods. So if you press it. tab, for example, you can pick what rod you want to use. But I'll just stick with rod one for the time being. That's, well, that's fine. All I've, got. I've, got, I've got rod white. <laughs> Or... Exactly, exactly. Wait. So stick with the uh stick with the white bird spinning, you'll be fine there. Okay. The top one with the rat trap. And you back. wanna uh ex, ex oh god, escape. Escape. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that was, you didn't uh, just do that. <laughs> yeah, I just somehow forgot how to speak. So you can see um right click on your mouse will put you into the casting. Is that pose. Like the right direction I want to go? You can turn once you're in casting, so um, you like, yeah, get the kind of the feel for where you think you might want to cast, and then you can use um, A and D to like rotate your angler around to work out where it is you actually want to cast. So I would maybe go, yeah, slightly that way, exactly. That way. Or, or that way, however, wherever you want, really. Okay, um, and way. then we'll when you're ready, you want to hold down the left button to charge up your cast. Do I need you don't to hold want to go down over... the right button that I currently am holding down? No, no, you don't need to hold that down okay. anymore, you're fine. So I need to hold so, down the left button. So you're going to hold down the left one to charge up your cast. Um, obviously, the higher it goes, the further you'll cast. If you go over 100%, then you'll be overpowered and you'll lose all your accuracy and it'll just sort of randomly flail out to somewhere. But that's fine. And then, so it will default. Oh, you've just caught uh, literally a fish bit instantly. So that's fine. So, okay, let me, let me tell you the next step. So this is your underwater view. To start reeling in, you'll start holding the L. Um, you might have just snagged. That's fine. We'll just ignore that for the moment. So to start reeling, you'll hold down the left button on the mouse. That's like your constant reeling, right? Okay. Um, so right now, it looks like you've snagged. So basically, you want to do a strike. And this is the same action you'll do when it looks like a fish has caught your um, bit in your hook, right? So you want to jerk your mouse towards you to pull the rod up quickly. Okay, okay, okay. We've got this. And that is a strike. And hopefully it will come up on screen like saying that you've snagged. snagged. Yeah, fine. So now you're snagged, there'll be an indicator there. So you've got a hook and then you've got a padlock. So yeah. what, you, what you need to do to unsnag is get your hook to the padlock. So you, there you go. So you're doing it. You want to get that, pull the rod up and then negotiate it so it gets to the, um, and then it's unlocked and then you're back to fishing again. Oh, look at so the you fish. Just want to... So then next time, if when a fish comes in and bites that lure, you want to, it will come up to the full camera, like the overhead view, pull back on the mouse to strike and start reeling. Um, the fish didn't bite on my book. I know, they don't bite all the time. That's just kind of how it goes. Okay, I feel like I'm doing a very good tutorial, a very good tutorial I mean, right now. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm getting it. All right, so you're just kind of chilling for the moment. You just want to, maybe they don't bite this time, and then you'll, you know, you'll reset your cast and you'll yeah. cast back out again. Maybe cast out slightly more to the right, try and avoid those bushes so you don't have to snag again. How do you get it to go all the way back? So like... Well, how do you mean? Oh, so if you want to just reset the cast, you can hit R without having to reel it all the way in. Uh, I see. Okay. If not, you just keep reeling and it will come out of the water and, um, and then it will just again. start again. Last time I went to like 100% by mistake. Yeah, you went way over, didn't you? Okay. Hello, Pi. Here he is. 
What is the ideal number for the old cast? Yeah, I mean, obviously, the higher it goes, the further you'll cast, and the, the longer your lure is in the water, um, you know, the more opportunity you have to catch a fish, right? Um, so, so if you can you explain what the stop and go and the constant thing is? Because yes, okay, so that they're called retrieval methods. Um, so the easiest one is constant. If you just hold the mouse down to reel, it will come up constant. And if it's green, it means that you're doing a retrieval method, which is, you know, a successful way of attracting fish, fish, essentially. Okay. How, what do I do? Yep, pull back. Your I perfect strike. Back. Well done. Now keep reeling. Um, and what you want to do is, you see that green bar you've got on the left there? Um, oh, gosh. That's like, oh, gosh. You'll find your coat. So you've got a landing, a landing chance. chance. It's, like a, it's like a mini game. So... You want to hit E again when it gets into that sweet spot where the fish no, is headed. No, it's still there. I can't see it yet, but I'm stoked to see it. It's Not giant. Sure you're a carpenter, but you're gonna need a oh, look at it. Look at it. Guys, I caught a fish. You did good. And it's one of our qualifying species. So if you were competing in an official Bassmaster event right now, that fish would count towards your, your score because largemouth bass is one of the official qualifying species for Bassmaster. I caught that is a very... qualifying fish. You did. Mm -hmm. That's an excellent start. Yes. Now, low-key, that is a very small largemouth bass. Um, wow. But that's nothing to be well, nothing to be like ashamed it. of. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that fish, Ben. Not that's nothing to be ashamed of. You, you know, oh, no. as a start. Oh, dear. What's happened? Nothing. Okay, I haven't seen what you've done yet, but I think it's okay. <laughs> Was it your 8% cast? Is that what you're oh knowing? <laughs> Maybe. I'm sorry. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, more information for you. Um, if when you um, yeah, cast out again, and I'll tell you a bit more about what's happened with the UI. Yeah, do it. Because you were talking about so, it, and then I got too excited about the fish. Yeah. So when you um, if you look to where where those numbers are, right, you can see that there's two bars. There's a faint one that's got lots of lines on it, and then a smaller one that goes around the outside of it. Yeah. So when you've got a fish on, that one that's kind of ticking up a little bit now is your indication of tension. Um, so tension is something you need to manage to ensure that you don't um, end up, you know, snapping. Oh, okay, you've got a fish on. Good. So you I see your tension is going. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you've got the mini game there. This is yeah. quick catch. So this is essentially a timing game where so what, in, e in the real. When it goes to the like that. Yeah, you press E again when it hits when it hits the middle. Oh, another fish. And this is essentially to replicate, you know, a lot of times when these guys are fishing, um, they'll get the fish close to the boat and they'll just chuck their hand in there and grab it. It's, like the, it's the equivalent of that. The size of my fish. No, no, no. I would never do that. But that is um, a similar. Oh, what did you get? A did you get a a voice line that was mocking you? I did. What did they say to you? Something about it being tiddly. Oh well. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean. I'm pretty happy about that. Like, yeah, I know. So Big Time is saying we need to get you on a big lure, but because um, this is the first time Natalie's ever played this game, um, there are no funds in the bank account. Unless it's a free one, Big Timer. Do you know if it's free? And we can start upping the ante and going for some big ones. Oh, dear. I did the thing again. No, we're trying this. Okay. Don't worry about it, you know. Oh, yeah. See, 10%. Of catching big ones as a beginner? You, you can catch big ones as a beginner. It's just... The thing is with the lures, right? So this is a lure that's quite small. Um, lots of species oh, of fish will go fish. for it. Oh, no. What? Um, no, oh. you've got a perfect strike. What's happened? No, it's tiny. It's even smaller than the other one. Oh, yeah. So this is a different species we've got here. <laughs> it's a cute one. But I'm still catching fish. It's not fish. free. Like... Yellow perch. Right. So what I was saying to you is... So the little, the little lures... Um, okay, I'll explain it to you a bit differently. So the Drinkalistic swim bait that um, Big Time was mentioning yeah. is a big lure. And what that, generally speaking, does is mitigates your chance of catching the small fish. Okay. Um, because they, they wouldn't go for it because it's likely to be bigger than them. Um, so these little ones, um, you have more chance of catching smaller fish, but it is still possible to catch big fish with it. There you go. See, this lure's doing really well for you because you're catching fish quite consistently. And this one does look bigger Blue. than what you've caught so far. That, one, that one's bigger. It's definitely bigger. There you go. <laughs> look at so it. you're picking it up. So if you hit, um, I don't know if you've already passed the screen, but if you hit expand, uh, which is Q, I think. 
Yes. Um, you'll get some more information about um, the fish and uh, if it earned you some bass bucks, I think it will show you that in there. Yes, yeah, so you earned 10 bass bucks for that. Your reputation grew. Uh, if you hit Q again, oh. um, it will tell you some... Oh, no, oh, yeah, we got that back was... in the boat. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. So there's more. I've got more stuff to tell you. Right. So, yeah, do, do another cast here and I'll, I'll tell you some more okay. stuff about what you can do. I'm having a lot of fun with this. But this is way more chill than trying to teach you to drive drones. Wait, did I just immediately get one? Um, maybe. Even, I did. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, you'll lose um, this. You, we're in a good spot. What does hooks the thing? There you go. You lose but uh, the, the good thing that you've got here is you're, you're getting to grips really quickly with the idea of when that fish bites, the timing of pulling your rod back mean? to strike. Uh, it means for the, the category of that fish, it's a big one. So white crappies don't get that big. Um, so that's a good size one. Uh, so yeah, if you press Q again here, you should get, you'll get some more information and stuff if you're oh, interested in, in reading about fish. Apart from being brighter in color the field, that's why it's hard. Oh, that's super interesting. You get to learn stuff too. I know, I like that. I like learning about these different fishes. Right. <laughs> I like to learn about different fishes. Yeah. Cool, yeah, so when you're, when you're ready, I'll show you, so, by default, it gives you the underwater camera, but this is an optional feature. Okay, so what else do um, you push? So when you're... Oh, like... You're just getting bite after bite, are you? Yes. Legend, this lure is doing some real good work for this you. This one looks like a different one again. Oh, no, it's one of those midget ones. Good evening, British Ace. Welcome. Oh, good evening, British Ace. Look at that little dinker. Look at it. Look at how diddly it is. Oh. Yellow perch, though. It's a good size for a yellow perch. Right. Okay, what are you trying to teach me? Right, so basically, the next time you cast and your lure hits the water and you go to the underwater camera, you can hit V. Um, it will come up as a... You'll see it on the screen that you can uh -huh. hit V when you're there. And it will toggle you back to the overhead view if you don't want to use the, under, the underwater camera. Because um, uh, it's doing the thing, right, gotcha. What, what's happened if you snagged? No, no, no. I was just wondering what you were doing. Oh, it's red. That will show up red and then go green when you're doing a good retrieve. Or you can go back to the oh, underwater camera view. I've, I've got one. You're, you're a natural. I'm loving it. Come on, fish. We've got, we've, we've got another online tournament starting tomorrow, Nat. Maybe you should put a score in. Well, I feel like I'm doing all right, you know. Ooh, we've got <laughs> a trophy black crappy now. See? Legendary. Right, so... Are you ready to upgrade and maybe meet some other people and yes. get people to show you around? Yeah, let's, okay, do, yeah, so let's, let's do more. Okay. Perfect. So let's uh, let's go back to the main menu. Is that escape? Yep. Menu. Where's... How do I get back to the main menu? Quit. Escape, yeah. So um, anyone who has this game currently who would like to join us on a lake, we'll pick one now. Come join us. Um, it's cross-platform, so if wherever you play on, you can go join your friends on one of our online servers and fish together. So, so we want to go to... Online? It's Bassmaster Online. The shop is, um, like, where you get, like, other DLC items and things like that that you might want. Um, and Manage is where you'd go if you wanted to, um, buy new equipment, new boats, stuff like that, change your angler's appearance, that kind of stuff. You probably can't change your boat, but you can change how your boat looks, probably, if you want to pick a new rack. So that's the one that that's the one that you've got, and then you see on the right hand side, oh I can see you frantically changing menus and I'm not yeah, keeping yeah. up. <laughs> so go back into the boats if you want to change yeah. how your boat looks. Okay. Oh there. Then okay, you can flick so across different. Um some might be locked, but they shouldn't most of them shouldn't be. Some of them might be paid for. Um, you can click on the boat and like drag it around. Oh, look at the kangaroo! On. The kangaroo? Yeah, I think we know it's kangaroo. Look at the kangaroo. Look at the kangaroo. Yeah, I like the bear one too. Right. So is that done now? Should be done if you clicked on it. It should be done. Okay. And then just go back. I know, it's stressful times, hey? Right, Bassmaster Online? 
Bassmaster Online, and then we'll pick a, a venue. Let's have a look at the server list when you get in there. Oh, and you want to go to not Bassmaster Royale, the other one. Public, Public servers. Yeah, there you go. And this should bring up a list of servers. Um, so let's go for um, let's go for Chickamauga, and we'll go for the we'll go for the UK one. It's got five people in. So if anyone would like to join us, we're going to be joining the UK Chickamauga server. Come come find us. Say Nat will be the one with the kangaroo and Scott Martin, and just hit join whenever you're ready, and it will load you in. Didn't do what? I didn't activate my camera Oh, didn't it? Oh, it's okay. So, welcome to Chickamauga. Is there a ticket here? Um, I mean, there's like a general rule of thumb, like, you know, you don't want to drive through people's boats and annoy you people. There's a couple people there. Boats. You can. I'm and not it's, going to. Or you can get like these two, probably pals, just fishing together, like real people. Um, so maybe like pull up next to them and see what's going on. Do a couple of casts. I'm sure they'll be friendly. Who's that? Look at that fancy boat. Are you joining us <laughs> because of the? Oh, look at the people. Hey, look at people will come. Up. People will come and join you, hey, and they'll line up. This it's is fun, cool. isn't it? Look at everybody. This is ace. <laughs> I'm loving that. Right. Um. Let's do the fishing. Do the fishing. So yeah, when we did our Christmas stream, we did some mastery challenges to unlock um, like festive Santa gear, right? Yeah. Um, and we got a bunch of people all on the lake together wearing full Santa gear and got like a, a team photo of like 20 or so people all wearing Santa stuff. It was great. How do I get it back in the water? How do you mean? Well, the camera. Oh, V. V. Oh, v. Well, I think this is one of the nicest parts for me about playing the game is uh, oh you got something oh, look is at um it. is the social aspect of things you know people joining up and jumping on Discord and fishing together and that is a dinker isn't it it is so this venue will have different species of fish so you didn't catch a bluegill in the last venue as look, far as I can look recall look at everyone Ben I know then why well, I can't see it yet I'm a couple five seconds behind how how many have we got I'm nice. Loving this. Yep, we're on the UK server, Lake Chickamauga, if you want to come join in. Yes, please come join us. Oh, I <laughs> it's so I cool. It. I have. It's okay. It's okay. Can you get in the way of people's, like, casting and stuff, or is it pretty friendly? You can't get in the way of people casting, no. That's good. Nothing like, nothing like that happens. That's good. Is this more relaxing than golf? I mean, I guess it depends if you find golf relaxing or not. I mean, I don't. I, I, don't. I never really. No, I've not done much walking. <laughs> I mean, what am I? What am I talking about? I've not done much walking. I've done plenty of walking. There's lots of walking with golf, and I don't know if I find lots of walking between. I mean, you know. I'm, just, I'm finding this game pretty chill. Scorpio, <gasps> you find out what other people catch. Yeah, it tells you what other people catch too. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try that again, because that was just... That's a problem. Oh! Road Did you want to try... You... Oh, British Ace <laughs> is wanna... here! British Ace is here, is he? Yeah, look, see there. Oh, nice. Oh, that's this cute. Is, this is... Yeah, I know, I'm loving this. Do you want to try a different lure? Should we try mixing things up? How do I do it? So, hit tab. Which one? Um, and it will bring up your different rods. So maybe just pick like rod two, see what that is. It is. Actually, Actually no, it try do do three. Do the uh, do the leopard frog. Okay. Does this one look better? How would a new starter best learn which equipment to go for and build up to? Look I think it. it's a bit. Look at his little froggy legs. It's a little frog. So this one's slightly different. Like so. It. Whereas uh, a lot of the other lures will sink, this one is a top water lure, so it drags along the top of the water like a frog would, and you know when it's skimming across water. So for the fishers that like frogs. Exactly. So to answer your question, Pete, um, I would say it's a bit of trial and error. Um, like when we launched the game, no one knew what was good to use and what was bad to use, um, and you just 
learn over time or you join our Discord and <laughs> ask people and they'll tell you. Um, so for this lure, it might be better to use um, to hit V so you're just looking at it from the top because you don't because it doesn't sink. You don't get to get a full picture of what's happening. Oh. Where's my fish? Do you know what I mean? Where's my fish? Where's my fish? Where's my fish? Yeah, we've got we've got a, a nice community there, Pete. That will that are very happy to part ways with their information. And there's lots of stuff on um, on YouTube as well from from players who will give you tips and hints and things like that. Fish caught. <laughs> so actually, uh, British Ace, all the fish that you would catch in this game, you would release. We don't harm any of our any of our fish. <laughs> Very strict on that. They go into a live well in the boat, which is uh, well only when you catch fish that count. Um, you just release a fish that doesn't count straight away back to the water. But if you catch a, uh, a qualifying bass species that you that's going to go towards your total weight or your total score, mm -hmm. you would keep that in your live well because at the end of the event, when the day's fishing is done, um, you have to go back and they'll officially oh, weigh your bass oops. before they release them. There was no what fish happened? There. I got too excited. And if, if you do like four or five casts and nothing's biting, um, you know, you can just change it back to um, a different lure. We're going to give it one more go. Yeah, that's fine. This, this froggy one, yeah. though, it's not loading well. Uh, Moggy, yes, it is crossplay. So on the public servers, it's crossplay between all, all platforms, PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. It's also free on Xbox Games Pass right now if you have okay. Game Pass. That's it is. Hello, Strike Eagle. It's just so chill. It is chill, but you know, then it's also not chill at different times. So, if you if you start playing through the career mode, or you want to have a go at competing in our online tournaments, um, it's it's not that chill. It's competitive. You know, you've got a limited amount. You've got a limited amount of time to catch your top five weight bass. Uh, otherwise, you know, you're not gonna. You know, you're out of there. You know. Mm. So this is a bit different. Um, now, this chili bowl is a, um, a diving crankbait. So you'll notice when you start reeling, the action of what happens with that lure in the water is very different. But you might want to toggle hit V so you can see what it does. Yeah, yeah. So that's what you want to reel it in so it dives down and let it go back up again and then... Oh yeah, you can see it going deeper, right? Like on the, on the HUD. But yeah, what you can also do is um, with the number buttons 9 and 0, you can change your reeling speed. So with the chili bowl, um, if you increase your reeling speed a little bit, it will make it dive down faster. So do I want, like, uh, like, uh, like, like maybe four, maybe for this one, maybe? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, um, Bubba, do you know what? I've actually never, never fished, um, well, I never fished in real life ever. Um, but I would like to at some point. I feel like it's like a necessity now, like I need to. Yeah. Well, I mean, do, you, do you know what though? Like, have you ever driven a train? No? I mean, I think many people will be reassured to hear that I have not. <laughs> so what you want to do with this one, Nat, is hold it down for a bit, let it go, let it come back up a bit, and then hold it down again. You know, like, get it moving, you know? Ooh, there you go. Got the knack. We're not catching many fish I know, so maybe you maybe need to move back to the original lure, see what happens. They don't, they don't like my other lures. Well, they're picky, you know. But that's when I, that's my always my uh, always my go-to line, right? It's not called it's called fishing, not catching. That's always my go-to line. Crazy, not really. We've we've made it as um as anti griefable as possible. Um, so you can't really prevent people from doing anything. I mean, you can still be annoying, but that would I mean, be why would you? exactly. We would suggest that you don't be annoying. Oh, I'm gonna slow down the speed because we've never made it faster. Before. So for those of you who are thinking about downloading the game, get some practice in. Get on Lake Chickamauga. Yeah. Uh, because starting tomorrow. We have um, an online tournament starting that's going to be running until, I think it's the, let me just check my dates here, I'm pretty sure it's the 11th, yeah, the 11th of April, starting tomorrow, 
and it's three rounds of online competitive fishing. Oh no, um, to move everyone's moving. So, so that, who've we got? So who've we got over there? Who wants to take us on a tour, show us some good spots? Well, you can see some people over there by the dock, right on the right. Maybe go and maybe go and join those guys. Okay, let's go. Um, so yeah, starting tomorrow, we've got three rounds of competitive fishing that happens. Uh, it also lines up with uh, a real-world Bassmaster fishing event on Lake Chickamauga, a real-world venue. All the venues in our game are real um, bass, like official bass fishing venues. So they're all, they're, they're all real places. Okay. Um, the tournament will probably be starting around 1 p.m. Um, so you've got about seven days to do round one, and then two days to do round three, and then the last day is on the Sunday the 10th. Are you going to take part? Of course, I'll be live streaming my my three attempts, my, my three rounds. Look at the size of the fishes on the on the radar thing. Yeah, there's some big ones near. It's just, you know, where are they? Who knows? Come on, little fishies. <laughs> Is there anything you're not sure of? Any questions? Anything I can teach you? No, but I do think if I was playing this more regularly, like I would be an absolute sucker for the wraps and the customizations on this. I love it. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff. Right. Like I have some serious boat envy with the wraps going on right now. Yeah, that's something that we've been um, doing quite a lot on. Is you know making them fun and making them yeah you know making them a bit more interesting why not why not have some fun with it so then if you win how do you like earn the coins and so stuff the, to get better lures the, so the best way is um i mean you, you earn a little bit for catching any fish yeah the bigger the fish the more you earn yeah um but the easiest way to earn is to play through the career mode. You get a lot for winning the career mode events. Okay, so um, like, will I have earned anything tonight? You'll have earned a, a bit, yeah. You'll probably have earned a couple of hundred. I don't think that will uh, that will buy you all that much. Okay. Um, but if you do keep playing, I can I can give you some recommendations on what to buy. I'll hit you with the uh, I'll hit you with the deets. Yeah, give me give me the insider tip, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You do earn a lot in career mode, that is true. So yeah, the event tomorrow, I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm streaming tomorrow evening as well. Oh, what um, time? It'll be probably about eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, um, I mean, I'm a bit nervous because I haven't actually fished um, Chickamauga all that much. Um, so I don't know if I'm really going to have time to try and work out where to go. Yeah. Um, so probably just going to wing it. I'm not going to do very well. Hopefully I'll do better than our last tournament, but we'll have to see. Um, who's around right now that can guide us to where the fish are? Or some good spots? Because people are fishing here. Yeah, maybe cast... Like, if you're not seeing anything, like, yeah. you know, change your direction, cast out in different spots, see if you see stuff, and if there's nothing really there, then... Oh, so the sun's going down now, so it's starting to get dark, unfortunately, underwater. Oh. Uh, one thing as well is to... So you see how you start reeling in straight away? Yeah. And you can see that your... Um, your lure is two feet deep, and the water is 15 foot deep. So if you stop reeling for a bit, your your oh, um, your lure will start sinking, and then you can reel because um, it gives you kind of an indication of how deep the water the fish are in the water on the um, on the sonar thing we've got going on there, fish finder. So some of them are kind of near the top, some of them are a little bit deeper. You know, it gives you a good idea. But it's um it does get harder at night. Fish are have a tendency to bite less at night, unfortunately. Yeah, and I don't know. Do fish sleep? I guess they do. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm going to go for the sinky one again. Like the rocks to the right of the dock. Okay. The rocks to the right of the dock. Yeah, or well, they're saying a little bit further forwards from where you are now is good too. Yeah, or like maybe just go to the other side of this like concrete area here and then turn back around and cast in the direction you were originally, if you know what I mean. So go a bit further forward, then swing it around. Right yeah, actually, this is a good spot here. Okay. And um, like turn around. 
So you're facing sort of where you were, and then go a bit, yeah, like cast out here a little bit, see what happens. This is the this is the big part of the game. It's um, finding cast. it's finding it's finding the fish. Yeah, that's that's a big part of it, and it's harder than it's ever been in, in our games before, um, because they are they are proactively moving around the lake. Yeah, exactly. That's another good tip there from Pi is that um, for the most part, the edges are the, the place to be. So most most success in fishing in bass is not plonk yourself in the middle of a lake and just cast out. It's normally around edges, um, finding... What's that? Someone else's look. Yeah. What? Did you think it was a fish? It's so strange not having sound. For reference, all I can hear is that, which is a very, very fine thing. It's all, yeah, all very well with me. Oh dear, I overpowered it. That's okay. That well, happens. it can't hurt at this point. Let's try it again. Okay. Obvious question: Why two games? So. Fishing Simworld is a bit more of a mixed bag. It does have bass fishing in, um, but it also has carp and course and all sorts of different kinds and styles of fishing. Whereas Bassmaster is an official affiliation with the official sport of BASS Bassmaster. Um, so you can liken it to the equivalent of a, a FIFA or a Madden or something like that. It's the official game of the sport, yeah. which is very much focused around bass fishing. Um, there are several other species of fish that you can catch, but it's always, um, there's no um, there's no carp or coarse style fishing. It's all on the boat. I hope that answers your question sufficiently. I feel that's like, probably got my focus face on as well. Like, focus face. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. It's uh, it's um, there's definitely a learning curve, but I mean, you got the hang of it pretty quick, and you start catching fish. But now you're seeing that sometimes it doesn't go your way, and it's um, yeah. it can be it can be hard to catch them. What we could do though is um, part of the take, challenge, take... right? It's like um, exactly, yeah, exactly. It's, it's figuring out why you're not catching them, and then adapting, evolving, yeah. learning. So there's waypoint systems in the game, so. If you find a good spot, you can go to your map and put a waypoint marker down so that you know, and you can put little text box in there. So if oh, I, cool. I can show you now, uh, well, I'll show you in a second if you, when you've done this cast, yeah. um, as an example. See you, Pi. Thanks for helping. Well, big timer. We've got one, we got an online tournament starting tomorrow that should keep you happy for the time being at least. Um, I actually don't know exactly what the uh, day and night cycle is from a time perspective, like how long it takes to get through a whole day. Um, it's a good question though, I just don't know the is answer. It getting it's getting darker actually, because it's quarter past nine in the evening. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, so before you cast out oh. again, um, have we already done it? No. So go to, um, okay. press M. Oh, I just, I've just watched you do an overpowered cast. I, <laughs> I think I'm quite far behind you now. <laughs> so yeah, press M for your map, and then you see it says E is place waypoint. Oh, yeah. um, and then it will then it'll come up the little screen. Them. You can pick, like, let's say, right, pick any species you like, and you can color code it. Um, and then it will come up with, um, if you press Y, once you've picked your color and the fish you like, you can say... Something like, um, this was a good spot for bass uh, at night. Look at you know, all or... my caps are on. And look, look at, I'm going to leave it just like that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> like, love... <laughs> I love that. And then when you load back into this venue, you know, whenever you play this game again, that will be there and you'll know that you can drive there and maybe that will be a good spot for you. Which one is it? I'm still waiting. We'll see. Who have we got next to you? Oh yeah, this this is a good one. 
Eagles fan. Yep. That is a cool one, though. So, Eagles fan's also wearing the Lake Hartwell jersey, I think, from the, uh, from the Lake Hartwell DLC. Uh, through, I think it's you get that through playing the additional career mode. But what we can do is maybe back out and go into a lake where it's daytime to make things a bit easier again for you. What's the, the longest fish in the game? Leroy, another good question, but not, not stuff I have in my brain as, as an off the top of my head thing. There are some very big fish in this game, though. The longest is probably going to be a long nose gar. I can tell you that much. Because um, they're very long and, and thin. Um, but I couldn't tell you how, how long the longest is. So yeah, let's go back to the menu and okay. we'll go into a, a venue that is maybe um, daytime for the last 10 minutes or so. Maybe people will come over and join us there too. Oh, cool. All right, let's go to the menu. <laughs> we don't oh, oh, eat I the fish. Actually, I can actually color my boat now, right? Please let me do that. Yeah, let's try and do that. Yeah, yeah. Right, so probably what I do... Oh, so let's, um, let's have a look here actually quickly. So go to manage and go to the... Um, uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's get your boat. Let's get your boat. So you should just click, like, click on it, and you should be good. Yeah, well, I clicked on it earlier, and it didn't do anything. But how do you So you've, if you hovered over it, right? Yeah. So when you're, I can't see it because I'm, um, so yeah, actually click on that one. So once you've scrolled through them to it, actually click on it. Well, okay, you should. Okay, so you should be fine. But I, this is also sometimes a struggle for me too. But that should be fine. Oh, maybe it's because. Oh wait! Wait, that's uh, what I have. You have the you have the Blazer sixty five. Oh, hold on. Ooh. Oh, maybe you were trying to do it on the wrong one. Yeah, oh, you were trying to do it on the Bascat Jaguar. Right now that makes more sense. Oh, the shark out looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a shark. You, I think you can have the kangaroo on this one. There you go. Rocky room. Okay, now I've Okay, cool. So let's go uh, back to. Sorry for anybody having to watch that chaos. <laughs> we said it would be chaos on it on both streams, right? So we I couldn't, we couldn't let it go down. Right? Sonic, we need some music, menu music like this in the to World to jam out to. How do I get the doors? How would I do that? Well, right, yes, this is good. So um, click on New Rod at the bottom. On the left, there'll be a button that says New Rod in loadouts, yeah. Right, well, I'm behind. So let's start off with getting you a new rod. So click on the bottom one there, it's just where it says favorite white bird spinning in the, on the right-hand side. Um, so click on that bottom one and then you can, it'll bring up all the rods. Some of them are free, some of them will, you will have to pay for. Um, you, you got 2,000, yeah, so we won't be able to buy too much here, but we'll see what we can do. Um, and I, it really just comes down to pick the one you like that's either free or... Well, yeah, free, basically. So free, free is your free? Free is your choice. But there's plenty of ones to choose from that are free. Okay, so... I've got the one. Okay, uh, that's fine. So... Can you choose three or two? Let's... Let's see. Oh, well, you also want to change your um, your reel as well, so it's matching, right? This is all very important. Big timer. Can that afford the gentle stick at this stage? Right. What am I doing? Um, um, you need to pick a pick a, a reel that you like. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to go to the top bit where it says uh, the, the the top bit is the lure essentially. No, no, go back from there. We don't want to mess around with that. Okay. We will go in there in a minute. So that's line. So line is quite expensive. Um, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll come back there in a minute if we can afford it. So click on the top one where it says Sledgehammer Swing Jig. These are all the lures. Um, what we're looking for is to see if we can get you one of the good ones. So at the top where it says all, um, click across that so I can see. Yeah, actually you can just go down here, it's fine. I can afford some of them. You can afford some of them. So we're looking for a one called the Jenkalistic swim bait, which looks like um, a fish, but it's broken up into little sections. That's the best way that I can explain it to you. 
Um, you can scroll across them at the top as well to get to like. Some of them look like fish, some of them look like worms. I think it's near the bottom, right? Yeah, keep going down. Booty shaker. Booty shaker. Booty, the booty shaker is good as well. Okay, I'm at the bottom and I don't see the one you Okay, so. Oh, actually, we might be on the wrong. Um, are we on the wrong kind of lure setup, aren't we? Because we've got a jig head attached at the moment. Uh, Yeah, so I think you do, but I don't think I saw it in here. So yeah, click on that and then go to yeah. click on um, click on no weight. Yeah, so you want to click on no weight. We can go back. There we go, and that changes that changes the kind of lures. So <clears throat> go back into that one, and we'll see a different a whole different menu of fish of uh, lures. And so you want one that looks a bit like sushi. So it should be it should be down the bottom. I think. But there's a lot, so just like scroll all the way down. Oh that one. Okay, right. No, that's not it. Okay, so do you see where it says all? Oh. oh yeah, sorry, I'm behind you. That's the one. Can you afford it? You can. So buy that. Uh, and then you might have to click on it again to equip it. So it'll come up to the top and then click on it again and you should be good. And then what we'll do is we'll get you some thicker line because this one will get will attract bigger fish. Can you not? How much is line? Let's have a look. I know it's expensive, but it's very important. You've got... Oh yeah, you can't afford it. We'll just wing it. Let's get into a venue for five minutes and see if we can catch another fish. Yeah, so this, yeah, we'll go back to online. Right, we were and, uh, in... We were in Chickamauga. Yeah, let's choose a different one. I'll let you try. Um, where's going to be a good one? Maybe go to Toledo. Toledo? Okay, we're going to Toledo. Come join us. Go and to Toledo. UK server on Toledo Bend. Oh, I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good to see. It's good. I'm enjoying it. Look at it, got the cool boat. Look at the room. You got the cool boat, you've got the new lure. Uh, You're moving up in the world. Um So, okay, I know a good spot here. So cruise on out and head right. Yeah, like floor it and head, head right. See where that like little starfish looking thing is? Looks like a starfish on the map. So yeah, head like head this direction. There's a little gap. Uh, it's like a little island there. You can go around past that. Do you want? Yeah, do you know what though? Uh, who's who's behind you? There's, there's someone in a boat behind you. I think I following you. Oh, curious. Okay. Curious. I think, wait, they can see the boats, but I can't see the boats. See, look, they're all on the map, but they're not showing up. Oh, that is weird. It's probably just a bug, but that's okay. Oh, look, um, fish. People are. I mean, you can quit out and load back in if you like, and that will probably fix it. Can I do that? How do I do that? Um, just back out to the menu and then load back in. It should resolve it. Okay, I'm right that, is an in that is an interesting one, though. Right, because you can hear them. Right, you, you can't hear them, but you can hear them on the game. And you know they're there. Right, we write that one down. That's a new one for me. Yeah, that's a really weird one. The leader at the top. Okay, let's try this again. We've got a couple of minutes. And it's way past my bedtime. Okay. Right, hopefully we can see. Now. Oh. Fantastic. Oh. All right. Right, so let's have a look and see who we got, because they'll be able to guide you to some good spots. Are we just going to stalk people? No, they'll they'll take you somewhere good. Okay. So if you you, you, yeah, you stop there for a second, let them let them come, let them, let them come to you. Okay. Right, yeah, head head to that head to that little group over there. I feel like they're going to take you somewhere good. Trust me, 
yeah, follow, follow the Eagles fan. Let Eagles fan show you the way. Yeah, they're, they're taking me to somewhere good. This is where I was trying to navigate you towards. Yeah, there's a little island there you can cruise down. Yeah, then you wanna. Yeah, yeah, you wanna. Okay, he's taking oh, me around there. Yeah, maybe a little bit further forwards. Nice. And then, yeah, you should be... There's a little gully down here, which is really good. Nice. Yeah, try here. Your new Jenkalistic. It should be on there, right? Is that on there? It should be Rod 4. When you hit When you hit, when you hit tab. How do I get out of the thing? Oh, uh, uh, to reset. Oh, okay. Panic. <laughs> okay, now we've got it. Hello. You've changed. Okay, no, it's good. I'm way behind you somehow. Yeah, well, it's the, uh, it's the stream latency. I know, latency. There we go. <gasps> Look at it. Alright, let's do this. Oh, there's a fish. Right there, come on. Get it. Fight it. It'd be very cool if we can get you a decent sized bass. Is it sinking? This one sinks. This one sinks. Oh. Sinks quite quickly, this one too. It's, it's a big oh. one. Snag? Oh, I'm snag. Yeah, I saw a lot of bushes there. Why have I stopped snagging? So you need to strike it up again and and um oh, and try and get it to the get it to the green. Uh it will come up eventually saying you can reset it if you're yeah. struggling. Hold on, hold on. There you go, press R now and it will it will reset you. Actually you've almost got it to be fair. Okay. How do you avoid it sinking? Um, maybe cast slightly more to the right this time, so you avoid those bushes. Yeah, that's um, what I did. yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> 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 having having looked at it, I'd say that that's not what's happened. Um, so you can reel <laughs> in, snacking. reel in a bit. Oh, did you? Yeah, I thought that yeah, might happen. That is some of that is part of the issue, you know. Right. Well, look. We are one minute over. Well, we are one minute over. Nah, you are more than welcome to continue. Um, but I'm going to go to bed. Wait, it looks like a frog. Are you on the frog, are you? I didn't change to the frog, it changed itself to the frog. Oh, boy. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. I've had it's a very a funny evening. I hope you all have too. Um, if you... Well, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone competing tomorrow. Put it that yes. way. I'll see you on the. We'll see you on the lake. And thank you to everybody that um, helped to teach me everything. I've had a lot of fun. Thank you to you, Ben. Um, My pleasure. And thank you for teaching me how to drive a train. You did. You did. I'm sure you did lots better than you expected to. I did. I did, and I've actually had an awful lot of fun. And thanks to um, all of the trains folk that came over and joined us. Indeed, and for them helping me as well. Yeah. Sign on the alarm. <laughs> it's been a it's been a very fun evening. It has. All right. See you later, everybody.